So let's now write a small GUI that uh, will be able to navigate between our addresses. So this is on the uh, right, you can see the screen of our device uh, that I already uh, have this thing running. So basically we will have a QR code with an address and then the address itself and two buttons previous and the next address. So when we click on the next address, we get the next address and the previous and the previous and then from there you can uh, tune it further to include like uh, maybe the derivation path or something uh, you like but uh, this is very basic that we need to do uh, so here i have already Jupyter notebook uh, i can connect to the hardware uh, and then we have here the uh, some imports, the Binaski, Bitcoin, uh, Web32 scripts and networks. And also I took the seed from the previous part. And uh, we have the master public key that we will be used to derive individual addresses. Okay. Uh, so, and uh, here is our uh, master public key that we can pass to Bitcoin Core or any other wallets or uh, yeah, just keep it here. Uh, so first let's start with the display. So we do import display and we will also need the little VGL library, import of VGL SLV. Uh, and for the QR code we need to import uh, from LVQR, import uh, QR code. So that's it. And then we can do um, display init and we have a blank screen. Okay, great. So now we'll, let's create a few things. So first we need our current active screen. This is LV screen active. Uh, and then we need to create the QR code. So QR will be our QR code uh, that is a child of the screen. Uh, then we will need a label uh, that will be LV label uh, also a child of the screen. And then we will need two buttons. Uh, so the uh, next button uh, is a button on the screen and then uh, next label uh, is the label in the button that will be of the label of the button uh, and let's set text of the next label uh, right away next address uh, and also we will need a previous button so previous button previous label yeah um, next button previous button and then previous label that is previous address uh, okay the kernel panic uh, I assume that I need to uh, disconnect the device completely maybe uh, because the display shouldn't be running a few times in a row and then turn it on again uh, then hopefully when it is connected we can connect it again yeah good uh, and then again let's import this uh, this and then uh, let's try with the display again so we um, have the blank screen now let's run this yeah we have a bunch of stuff that was uh, created in the corner so now we need to align all this so first let's align the QR code so first QR set size let's say 300 pixels and QR uh, set text, uh, we need our first address, right? So then we need a function uh, that will be uh, giving us the address of the index i. Uh, and uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna uh, create a script that is a script paid to witness pubkey hash uh, of the key. And the key will be our xpub uh, derive uh, m0 and then our index mm, okay and then our address uh, will be script address and we will be using network equal to networks rec test because uh, later we will use uh, it uh, in bitcoin core with the rec test and then we return uh, this address and let's check that everything is fine. Uh, print uh, get address zero. Okay, we have the address. So this is exactly what we need to put into the QR code. So here we will put uh, Bitcoin and then uh, plus our address. So let's put address to get address zero. Uh, then label. Uh, we will also set the text uh, of this address there. 
uh, and uh, now we can align them so QR um, align uh, we will align it relative to the screen uh, we will align uh, it's inside the screen uh, from the top and the middle and we will set the offset on x uh, 0 and offset of y y uh, well, 100 and then we will align the label uh, with the QR code so we will align outside of the QR code also well on the bottom uh, and also in the middle and we will have an offset in x uh, 0 and then offset in y let's say 50 okay if we run this uh, we see our QR code and our label are nicely aligned uh, now uh, for the buttons uh, next button let's set the width to a bit larger let's say 200 well 150 pixels and uh, for previous button we will also do the same uh, and also we will align next button to the label uh, we align out on the bottom and in the middle but this time we want the next button to be offset to the right uh, by 100 and so let's say 50 on the y uh, and for the previous button we will have the same uh, but with an alignment of minus 100 so if you run this uh, we have now two buttons uh, previous address and the next address now we need the callbacks uh, so uh, we will define the uh, next callback and we also need a state uh, we need the current uh, current uh, index of the address that is uh, let's say zero at the moment um, and then we define this callback so they will accept an object and the event uh, and we will need to access to this current index uh, inside uh, this uh, callback and change it so we can use global and later we can refactor this code to have a class of the screen that will have this uh, member of the current index so uh, we will not need a global afterwards uh, so global uh, current index <clears throat> and if event is equal to ub event released uh, then we can uh, increase the current index uh, we can get the new address that is get address current index and we can set the text of the qr code to bitcoin uh, plus address and we can set the label uh, text to address um, okay, and then the same for the previous button. So, um, previous callback. Uh, and this time we need to decrease the index, and then we also need to check if uh, such that the index doesn't go negative. So, we need to check that and current uh, index is more than zero. Okay, uh, now we can assign these callbacks to the buttons. So, next button set event callback uh, next callback and um, previous button uh, we can set events with previous callback so if we uh, run this now ideally if we click on the next address uh, we will see that uh, the address is actually changed and if we click on the previous address we will get uh, to zero and then there is nothing else here okay uh, so let's add another button that will display our uh, master public key for example so uh, another button that will be uh, the parent of the screen <coughs> and uh, label um, xpub label that will be a button yeah, xpub button um, LV label of the xpub button uh, set text uh, show master key and then we will align uh, set the button with to let's say 400 and let's just uh, set the position Mm -hmm. so 40 and boom, 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 let's say at the very end 600 okay 
So we have the show master key button now. Uh, great. Uh, and then uh, when we need to define the xpub callback, and again, uh, object in the event, if event equal to the event released, uh, then uh, we will show the xpub. Uh, so then the QR code set text um, xpub to base 58. Uh, and yeah, this is our string. And then our uh, label should be also this string. And then uh, xpub button set event callback uh, to this xpub callback. Okay, uh, if we click it, yeah, it changed. So we see that the label is now misaligned a bit uh, and the QR code is a little bit more dense. Uh, so maybe we want to realign the label um, uh, to the center. So label um, Let's see, so we will first set the label uh, set width to maximum 400. Mm. And then there is also label set align, LV align, LV label. Oh, I don't remember exactly. So can I connect uh, to this device while I'm... Okay. Um, that's bad with, that Jupyter doesn't, uh, well, here I don't have the auto-completion in Jupyter, uh, so I need to do something like LV, dear LV label, uh, and then here we should have something like a line, um, a line, center, label, a line, center, and that you will make sure that at least uh, it is aligned to the center. Uh, and nothing is changing. Mm. Uh, set one break probably. So let's go to the little vgl.com and uh, check out the documentation. <clears throat> Object types, um, label, one, one mode. So we have this uh, LV label one break and we can set it as uh, set on mode okay uh, so let's try this um, sorry here uh, so label set on mode um, label lv label on break okay um, still nothing really happens um, boom, boom, boom. okay yeah so now if we set this uh, and then we set the width and the line then it's fine okay uh, so now if we go to the next address and previous address it still triggers the addresses and then when we click on the master public key button uh, it shows us the master public key and the corresponding text of the master public key. Okay, so this gives you a rough introduction uh, of uh, how the new program the GUI. And um, uh, now we can get back to Bitcoin stuff and actually uh, work with the Bitcoin transactions.